free number now. 1-800-933-1447. Call now and you'll also qualify for free shipping. Listen Clear is precisely designed by top audio engineers. It adjusts to let you find the perfect way to hear things crisply and clearly, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And Listen Clear is so small and discreet, people usually don't even notice you're wearing it. And it's so lightweight, you may even forget you're wearing it too. Don't miss this special life-changing opportunity to hear things more clearly again for free with a 100% free in-home trial and free shipping. If you like it, you could even get free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-933-144. 933-1447. 1-800-933-1447. Take your finance team from informed to influential. Employ a chartered global management accountant or empower your people with the CGMA program. Learn more about the CGMA difference at cgma.org slash radio. If you could bring out the inner qualities of the most famous... Jessica Lang is here. Tell us. Mark Marin is doing just fine for powerful people. I can't this is uh, Bloomberg 1130, the uh, station out of New York. Weeknights at 10 on Bloomberg 1130. Bloomberg Daybreak Asia brought to you by... So this is uh, New York Station booming in tonight. Really, really strong, 11.30 kilohertz. Uh, so this is the sound and uh, comparing medium wave now uh, between uh, the Texan PL um, 680 and uh, the uh, County Com GP5 receiver. So, uh, New York. Inside one of the East River Tunnel. Budget a lot of extra travel time. Westbound service will end at Jamaica and Woodside until 7 o'clock this evening. Subways will cross honor your tickets and again expect delays. On 280 in New Jersey, one accident was cleared. Eastbound at exit 8, the other one's still there. Eastbound at exit 11, you have a crash on the LIE. Eastbound by Glen Cove road very slow across the brooklyn bound brooklyn bridge delays easing at the inbound george washington bridge Oops. Okay. tunnel 30 minutes in 20 minutes out holland tunnel 15 in and 30 out the bloomberg 11303 three day forecast cloudy with showers overnight low 40 to 45 temperatures will rise overnight more clouds than sun tomorrow breezy and mild with a high near 60 friday partly sunny breezy turning colder with early highs around 50. checking sports it's the islanders hosting florida tonight the knicks are at philadelphia this report brought to you by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. More than 1.6 million Americans suffer with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Support the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America at ccfa.org. And with the best ride in and out of the city, I'm Adam Walski, Bloomberg, 1130. Global Business News, 24 hours a day at Bloomberg.com, the Radio Plus mobile app. So this is Bloomberg 11.3.0. Let's uh, try. I don't know if uh, reception will be good, but I will try uh, the uh, CFRB Toronto. I got two hot cookies in the hall about a PR agency. There we go. Guy that wore nice suits. Okay. More in a report from Justine. The tenant found the hidden camera in the living room within a Blu-ray player. The judge says that while the images it captured may not have been sexual in nature, they were still intimate. The judge says J.P. Manu is a sophisticated This is CFRB 1010 Toronto. For those that listen to the shortwave outlet, it's the same as CFRX 6070 kilohertz, but this one is the medium wave outlet received here in Montreal. So CFRB on T Texan PL680 once again and we'll be comparing with the GP5 SSB on the same frequency first of all I'd like to be defined as a modern man right what did, you, what did she say there some sort of modern man a modern man I'd like to be the modern you're a renaissance man I am a lot of leather bound books and such uh, that said there's a question here right this guy's subletting a condo near Queen and Dufferin two women are the ones that are his tenants they find the hidden camera in the living room inside a blu-ray player but he says he's not doing this like he didn't have it in the bed or the bathroom or the bathroom or anywhere where somebody was going to be exposed or having sex or any of those you think there's an issue here oh well no there's there's the, just with you saying that there was going to be sex there because you know the living room's a room in which sex can take place so you could argue that he might have captured something like that, but we'll get to that. So, 
He says, listen, I've been ripped off before. Previous tenants have stolen from me. I put a camera only in the living room just to monitor where the important stuff is, where the stuff that is of worth actually is. And all the rest of the house was, was theirs. I don't know. See, my gut wants to say, well, he should have told them ahead of time. But then that sort of defeats the purpose of having a camera because you're going to steal stuff out of the eyes of the camera. True. Right? That's kind of how it's going to work. I don't know about this. This doesn't sound as creepy as it did on the surface. No, it doesn't. And, you know, just the proof is there that he's really only been charged with the mischief and not, you know, certainly way more serious charges. I bet, Ryan, this is not at all uncommon. I bet tons of people actually do that. People that don't have a perversion. People that just really don't want to be ripped off. So now we're going to try it out at another station, which will be um, the New York outlet of WCBS on uh, 880 kilohertz. Let's check WCBS, 880 kilohertz uh, from New York also. 35 to 40. All these temperatures up and down. What is normal? About 38. It's 47 now, humidity 74%. I'm Craig Allen in the WCBS Weather Center. WCBS News Time 621. We have an update on a story we told you about last week. Several veterans organizations in Suffolk County have been waiting for checks promised to them from the Suffolk County Marathon years ago. Our reporter Sophia Hall has the update. The veterans organizations here in Suffolk County waiting for the marathon money are run by volunteers like the Reverend Fred Miller from the Suffolk County American Legion. He's been promised again and again the checks would be in the mail, and he said he filled out the proper paperwork to get the promised $4,000 three times. They tell me now that some of the checks are going to go out this week. Even though they said last week, they would be out last week. They're coming out this week down to tell me. The money he said will be used to promote a new program to help those battling PTSD. By the way, that marathon was held all the way back in September 2015. Sophia Hall, WCBS News Radio 880. In a statement, Suffolk County says officials continue to work with veterans groups to submit the paperwork needed to get the money. WCBS News Time, 622. Rest, why you get more done when you work less. I'm Pat Farnack with the WCBS Health and Wellbeing Report, sponsored by the Valley Hospital in Ridgewood, New Jersey. You're chugging along in your career for years, and you just pile on more and more. How long can you keep doing this? Alex Pang had a revelation. That's why he wrote Rest. I wrote the book that might have convinced my younger, dumber self to not overwork and burn out. I've been working as a consultant and forecaster in Silicon Valley for about 15 years or so. And it is great, interesting work, interesting problems, interesting clients. The downside is you are at people's beck and call 24-7. And a few years ago, I started showing the classic signs of professional burnout. That's when an interesting opportunity came his way to scale things back. That's next time. The entire interview at cbsnewyork.com slash 880 audio. I'm Pat Farnack, WCBS News Radio 880.